Hi guys, and welcome back to a, another Show on the Buffalo video. Hope you've all been well. You know, the world's under terror at the moment, but, you know, as they say, not panic. Um, so, <clears throat> today we are revisiting a deck that we've seen many a times, any of the players that play this game will have seen many a times over the past year or so, and it is Picaron. Now, this, this list and a list that was very similar got top 8 at Malmo. Um, regionals recently and there's some variations between the lists and this one didn't do as well as the other one I think this got literally 8th and the other one got 7th but my personal playstyle and the way that the way that I feel like this deck works I feel like this this version should have done better and this is the why uh, I'm gonna go through the reasons why so firstly the the main thing that makes this deck good and it's sort of helps to combat uh, a lot of the uprising of mill decks at the moment. I know it's like a Skynet limit uprising. Um, I mean, I'm always bored of uh, mill decks anyway, because it's basically like playing with yourself and it's not necessary. It's not. A, I don't feel like it's an enjoyable way to play the game. But we have in this list a uh, four switch to, uh, to make sure that we can attack every turn. And obviously, because of so many decks that are running the uh, the Evil Ambition or something Absol, I can't remember the name of the um, the actual ability, but that Absol that gives uh, a basic Pokemon an additional retreat cost um, means that a Skateboard Jirachi isn't always a viable option and therefore the four switches allow you to turbo through your deck and get through it a lot quicker and make the plays that you want to be making. It also allows you to use multiple Jirachi effects per turn as well, if you need to. Um, so there's that, and the other reason why I prefer this list over the other one is because most lists are playing uh, Big Charm, but I prefer Vitality Bands myself. Now, the reason why this is, is, again, because of a lot of mill decks and a lot of uh, ADPization, and some of the popular, even the Baby Blondes that have... Um, a skateboard here and here, there, and everywhere, and lucky eggs and stuff like that. A lot of people are playing Lysander Labs, so I I prefer this list because obviously you have your own ability to use this when you want to, um, and obviously if you're not if Lysander Labs is in play, you're just going to discard it anyway. So it, this is an aggressive tool as opposed to Big Charm, which is a passive tool, and you don't always get the effect out of Big Charm. Whereas sometimes you will get the effect out of this. And um, obviously people play like Lysander Labs to make sure your HP goes back down so they can one hit KO you. Yeah. But this one means that you can do the additional damage that sometimes is necessary. Um, so for example, ADP, as Ashen has 220 HP, with two Electro Powers and a full blitz is 210 damage, which is literally just short of the knockout, and that's why this gets you there. Um, as less builds, less and less builds are playing, um, less and less builds are playing the uh, the metal frying pan. Sorry, I had a, a brain fart there. But yeah, so because less builds are playing that, that's why vitality band is a is a big deal now. Um, so yeah, that's that's the overall deck. I'm not going to go into the rest of it. So I'll just peek around, peek around things. Uh, two of this guy, and the reason why this guy's so good, obviously, it's two prize card attacker, and it's it hits for insane damage. Uh, best of all, though, it has free retreat cost, and with Thunder Mountain, you're basically just doing three twenty damage and drawing two cards, which can just get you out of some like bad bad hands and stuff like that at the start of the game, which. Uh, doesn't usually happen having bad hands in people around, but I mean, luck is luck, isn't it? So, we'll go straight into games anyway. So, uh, we are now jumping into some matches on the ladder. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I was having some audio issues before, um, just like I was in my previous video. Uh, hence why I've like got the headsets on, which is much better anyway. My personal preference, again with a heavy aggressive deck like this, is to go second. 
And hopefully this isn't just pure Malamar, because pure Malamar is like one of the hardest matchups. What is this ridiculousness? <laughs> and it seems like it is pure Malamar as well. We are uh, kind of sitting on sitting on turn one, oh well, turn two full blitz, hopefully, with any luck. Bloody mimic you. <laughs> current bane of any heavy heavy hits in dark. And I think it is just pure Malamar. Annoyingly. Didn't get much going for himself, so that's alright. Um, what do we need here? I think we're just going to skip the Volcano. I think we might even skip Zero to keep the uh, bench tight. But we are losing the switch, so no. We've prized both Pika on. What the f <laughs> Wow. Well, uh, let's attempt to get in there with Zapdos then. Stick, uh, mm, yeah, stick up there. Great when you're playing a Pikrom deck and you prize both Pikroms. Amazing. Uh, oh, I've played. I've prized one of the. Oh no, we haven't. I thought I'd prize the uh, Coco B then. That would have been sad. <laughs> Just prize on like three of my main attackers. <clears throat> so, yeah. yeah I, just, I might even just like save the hands, to be honest. I think this guy's gonna... It's gonna filch. Why did he attach to it? I don't get it. Uh, so let's just do this. Let's do this. Um, yeah, we don't know what direction we're taking yet. <coughs> How many energy in the discard? Just one. Hmm. 
Gonna have to somewhat keep up the pressure. So let's get this. I'm not happy about the way that all this is going to be fair, but not much I can do about it. Excuse me. Strangest game of peak run I've ever played. Let's get that out of deck. Yeah, as I was mentioning before, as you can see, the damage um, can be quite relevant on a lot of the current meta decks. Just, it's just simple, an additional 10 damage, but it can go so far in a deck that you realistically don't want to be playing Shrine of Punishment in yourself. Unfortunately for my opponent, he does clearly have um, well, a tip <laughs> what I'd like to refer to as a typical Malmar hand, but it doesn't really apply anymore considering you know, quick, quick Ball and Mysterious Treasure are both in the deck. I think he really needs a Quick Ball to get a... Um, get a drop she down. I think I'm just going to conserve all my supporters. Um, actually, uh, deck's not, it's not going to be playing Absol, so let's get switch energy. I've got um, enough resources in the deck of both NG energy switch and the uh, Thunder Mountain. But in this instance, I am going to take E Power. Um, I was just trying to think would it would have been worth it to attack with that close, but uh, never is. I don't think he's got any energy in the discard either. That's from the Pika Roms to show up to the party. Well, if he's got Baby Blown, um, the one from Cosmic Eclipse where he can drop 12 damage counters onto the board, not even that's going to make much difference with how far behind he is. I 
hasn't hit a single uh, in Professor's Research yet either. Played a Malamar player before that uh, open, openly researched for seven on an empty hand like three times in a row. Boy, I was jealous. So now we can't put Malamar down anymore. Man, spell tags are frustrating. <laughs> I think in this deck with how slow he's going, he's used all his spell tags and he's way past baby blind turn. I think I'm far enough to head to do this. He doesn't unfortunately seem particularly skilled of this deck. Look some of the options and choices he's made in regards to what he's left as his active to be knocked out have been pretty suboptimal in my opinion and I think he uh, um, oh, with the revival of Garotina he'll have a knockout oh, didn't really see much point in it and there's no spell tag on this either so I'm going to take knockout next turn with Zapdos and like down so many energy. I didn't check at the start of the game to see if um, if the dragon symbol was by his deck, which I totally forgot to do. Seems like another poor decision. Why would you put Latias back? Doesn't have nothing else to put back. I, he should have definitely put back Mimikyu there. Because he's got nothing to evolve the Naganado. Um, then the question becomes... There's no point Fiona. Mm. Might as well grab this to waste it since I'll back only play as one stadium. <coughs> it's just another card that I don't want to draw into later. Oh, I do still have Thunder Mountain. Well, my god, have I misplayed. I could have just, uh, could have full blitz with Peak Ram. Ah. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, I don't think I want this in the deck anymore. There's another one in there. And I'm gonna leave the energy in there. Just in case, for some reason, he marnies me or something. And that's one knockout to go.
Yeah, I've got, and I've got everything to kill that. But I've also got Fionn, so I don't have to be stuck behind it. Fair play, the, uh, he didn't, he was not willing to give up at all. The open research for seven. If you're used to the sycamore high five in. If he puts anything on the bench that isn't Mewtwo, I win. So if he puts that down, I win. to deck himself out. I might just let him. Well, this match is longer than I, than I hoped. Uh, so, let's bridge in first, see what's in the deck. And if we've got another switch, yes we do, got 11 cards. It's not worth doing this turn. And, oh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> nearly, uh, nearly lost myself again. And yeah, GG to him, fair dues, he would not give in. <laughs> well played. Craggy, Craggy, maybe, I don't know. Could be Siggy for all I know. you get when you don't play PTC Geo as often anymore. Been um, spending a lot of time on a game that a friend borrowed me uh, for the Switch, which is the the Witcher uh, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition, which has got all the DLC on it and all sorts. Um, and at, for, at first I thought it was going to be like Breath of the Wild, to which point I quickly discovered that it's way, way harder than Breath of the Wild. Like, Breath of the Wild was an easy game to get into, and having never played any of the Witcher games before, it was uh, not easy in any way, shape, or form. Uh, never, never use your deck. Why do people do that? I like to throw people up. I know this is one deck that definitely plays Marnie, so hence the hence the second bench of the other Drachi. Why does everyone just want to play Mewtwo at the moment? It 
Just miss out. I don't know if I get a research or a quick pull or anything. Um, all that. I am definitely, definitely hoping to hit um what's it called? A zap dot here. Let's get rid of that thing. Uh, so okay. I think we'll just get this. And right shoe and wrong right shoe. Yeah, I'm sad about losing the uh, switch. And there's Zapdos, which is exactly what I wanted. <clears throat> Decisions. Yeah, get rid of that Mew while I can. If I can. I've got like three. Four switches in the deck and two a skateboard. So if I don't hit this now, I'll be so mad. Let's get the last trap out of the deck. Just to then. Terrible next hand, but that's exactly why I wanted the Zero Aura down. Why do they attach to Zapdos when I know that I've got Thunder Mountain in play? Ah, uh, I can tell I've not played this game in a while. <laughs> Out for the free retreat. See, always got a plan. Ish. Switch we get game, I think. Do we? Oh, we've got game anyway. Just because Thunder Mountain's still in play. No show off prizes for me because I uh, didn't tag about them. Not really showing the ca the deck, showcasing the deck quite the way I wanted to, considering all the matches I'm having so far are just Mali starting with Mali hands. So uh, I'll make the next game my last game, and I'll be uploading this anyway, as I've been meaning to upload a lot more regularly. And I think tomorrow I might just use eight tickets and <laughs> go into a uh, going to one of those tournaments. And I think I'll play this as well, actually, for that. Give me a sec. How are you doing on Def How are you doing on Dead Island, hun? <laughs> as I uh, mentioned in my last video, I was... Um, promoting my other half's channel that's just who I'm talking to at the moment she's a massive fan of zombie games and she'll be uh, doing some streaming for, uh, not streaming um, doing some video recordings of her on I think that Left 4 Dead I might even um, I might even upload some clips that I've got of me on Halo 5 waiting practicing, practicing, practicing on Halo 5 can't wait for Halo Infinity to come out. I like. I can't wait so much. Uh, hmm. 
Hmm. Now we do have a good matchup. I wonder if he's playing the one. Yeah, yeah, of course he is. I'm basically going to have to do something to get that out of the board. And obviously he's got a Drachi in hand. What's he just put in there? If I was going to um, not use the direct le list of someone, I would have... Um, considered putting in more shadow into this deck. What's he got onto the bench? So, most important part to get out. And I'm actually going to donate this whole hand away. going as deep, well, not going as deep as possible, obviously, cheers deck. What do we need to hit? I haven't thrown away a single electro power. So let's do this. Let's do this. Can I do these? particularly have anything there. Apart from my turn, one full blitz. <laughs> uh, so good. Love how absolutely filthy this deck is. Um, I think I'm going in here because next turn I'm going for. Switch energy switch. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet. I think I might. If my other Dedane is in the deck, which I'm hoping it is, <coughs> just go for that. Try and hit a switch against Jirachi. Go soul burst, perhaps. Soul burst, it is. It's only got one. Oh, is it attached from deck? Soul burst. Let's have a look. Search your deck for five energy cards. <laughs> Guys, it's better than I thought it was actually. The fact that it can attach all those rainbows and stuff makes it pretty filthy.
Um, I think I'll grab this to thin because after my first peak run goes down, I've got two other attackers to finish off any Mewtwo I want, which is all I need really. Hmm. Don't know what's it both doing. Ah, oh, I didn't put Zero down. I didn't discard it, did I? No. Right, so um I'm totally expecting to get reset stamped, so I'm just gonna fin through these. Get nothing. Switching to Jirachi. Thought misplayed there, thought he had Absol down. I was gonna cry. Uh, grab knee power. And that's another full blitz for knockout. I should have realistically finned uh, Thunder Mountain out of the deck, but we don't know if he does play another uh, brilliant cards to get. Um, yeah, sorry, as I was saying, we don't know if he does play um, I totally forgot my train of thought. <laughs> Well, none of this matters. One thing I did not check was seeing if uh, I had all of my... He needs Great Catcher to, ki to kill Lolotl and Raichu, otherwise he's not going to win. Like, that's not going to do it for him. I wonder what it is that he's thinning for. That was very unusual. Yeah, Scoop. Uh, yeah, I had energy switch, switch, research, um, switch into Jirachi. I was seeing a whole lot of cards there, and I was probably going to uh, Lightning Rad for 310. But anyway, yeah, so that one, as I was saying, that particular Picaram list didn't get as high as the other one. But I feel like this list might have just got unlucky in top eight because it's built to be to play exactly how Picaram should be played, which is just pure angry, aggressive turbo. And I I love playing that deck personally, and I've loved playing it since it came out to be honest. Uh, but anyway, um, that is everything from from uh, from me. I may do another upload of me playing this deck in a tournament tomorrow online or something or um, I might move on to some of the other decks that are just popular in in the meta at the moment I'll see what I've got I think I've got like ability Zards, that Mewtwo deck then that was just played uh, not quite that one because unfortunately I'm lacking another Dene someone give me a Dene <laughs> um, yeah I've got like um, a water box frost moth deck that I could play. Good old God of War Sylveon. Although I'm pretty sure everyone's sick of that at, that, at this point. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, thank you all for watching anyway, guys. Uh, if you could drop a like on the channel if you enjoyed watching some more Picarom. I know it's been in the format so long. But yeah, if you enjoyed it anyway, yeah, please drop me a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.